Hello and welcome to another philosophical improvisation. Today we will speak about reality. Now there was a famous song when uh, I was a teenager uh, called Dreams are my reality. And indeed reality is often opposed to dreams. In the sense that um, we used to define reality as something that is confirmed every day in front of our eyes. Something that we expect to see more or less um, equal to what it was yesterday. Something made of regularities rather than of differences. Or, if it is made of differences, it is made of particular differences. But it is not the possibility of difference itself. It is not pure surprise. Imagine that you wake up every day and reality is new every day. Perhaps it is the case. Perhaps reality is dominantly new every day despite our efforts to make it look more or less the same. Many people claim to desire changes in their everyday life but most of their behavior seems to confirm and reinforce their beliefs, for example, through complaint. In Latin, res means the thing. Reality is the domain of things, the domain of objects, the domain of reification. Reification can also apply to values, feelings, for example, competition. Many people think that competition is the essence of reality. What if our reality, the world as we know it, was but an intermediary realm, some sort of a mundane pur purgatory that would be an anti-chamber of the real reality, something that only a few can enter before they die. And this has been, for example, metaphorically claimed by poets such as Dante. Most of what we consider is reality would be an in-between, a state in which some signs, some keys, are offered to us to enter a world of much more bliss and intensity where difference and creation are part of the stuff of the world rather than repetition, confirmation, regularity. That's it for today. This was yet another philosophical improvisation. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.